Hey, have you ever played a game? There is a there is a coat hanger. Uh, how did this happen? Have you ever played a game that just gets its hooks into you? You know, you pick it up just to waste some time, but then it's so good that you end up playing it until completion. Yeah, that just happens to me with bad rats. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, it's obviously Metroid Fusion. Let's, let's not act like we didn't know this. It's the title of the video, you all knew what it was going to be. I said bad rats, you were like, oh, no it's not, it's Metroid Fusion. It was all like, oh, pig game, oh, what is it going to be, oh, what is this? To the intro! So if you play video games, you know who Metroid is. If you don't know, he's the orange robot that originated in the Super Smash Bros series before spinning off into his own line of games. He quickly became known for being able to turn into a ball and being able to shoot things. This was revolutionary for the time, as both Sonic and Mario could only do one of these things each, and Metroid was setting up to take the... Her name isn't Metroid. Her name is Samus. You are so stupid. <laughs> You feel the casual. <laughs> Fine! Alright! Fucking weird. The character is actually called Samus, and she's a kick ass bounty hunter who specializes in destroying a parasitic race of aliens called Metroids. That's right, I said she. Samus is a woman. I know it's not that exciting now, but in the 80s, people flipped their shit when they found this out. It was a simpler time. The game we're talking about today, Metroid Fusion, is the first in that series of games released for the Game Boy Advance. Surprisingly, despite playing video games my whole life, I have never played a Metroid game apart from Other M. I don't know why the, that scream was there. I actually enjoyed that game. <sighs> Fuck off. I originally heard about this game in an old Australian gaming magazine called Hyper. In the magazine, it showed a bad blue Samus clone facing off against orange Samus. Like, how cool is that? This is fucking cool! Fighting an evil version of yourself? Oh, that's always a good time. Yes, I, Louis, your twin brother. Back off. Got it. I was so excited for this game, you have no idea. I needed to play it. Unfortunately, I was 13 at the time, and my dad had just bought me Golden Sun for the Game Boy. And, fucking, video games are expensive. And, when the time came to get a new game, I got Golden Sun 2, because I wanted to play the second part to a really awesome game. So, Golden Sun is considered by some to be one of the best Game Boy Advance games of all time. It is- OH MY GOD! TALK ABOUT FUCKING METROID! So I played Metroid Fusion a couple of weeks ago, and it quickly became one of my favourite games of all time. So, let me tell you why I love this game. Oh wait, I already did the intro. So the game introduces us to Samus, showing how she earned the title of the deadliest bounty hunter in the galaxy. <laughs> Look at those slick manoeuvres. Apparently, her skills of standing still and shooting twice aren't enough, because the Space Knot flies into her. Fortunately, it was just Space Knot. Unfortunately, Samus then gets super wasted at the after party on the scientist ship that she was hanging out with, but she still thinks she's good to drive her spaceship home. If you drink, then drive, you're a bloody idiot. Turns out that despite using her awesome bounty hunting skills, Samus got infected by the Space Knot. The infection was so bad that she had to drink all of this Metroid flavoured Gatorade and have two weeks bed rest. Also her armour is infected and needs to be thrown out, and she's reduced to wearing this weak ass blue fusion suit, which gives her the man hands. While this is happening, the space government finds out that someone has been sneezing way too much at some government laboratory, and the evil space knight has gotten in all of the air vents and between the cracks of the couch, and now it's transforming and turning into monsters and taking over the laboratory, and despite her man hands, Samus gets sent in to deal with it. 
So we arrive in the docking bay and oh, I'm I'm the blue Samus. I thought the blue Samus was the bad guy. I was so wrong. Wait, wait, then that means. But we'll talk about that more later. Oh, but to help me, I've been given a computer who tells me my objectives, so that's a plus. Samus finds the computer endearing or something and names it Adam after her old commander in the Galactic Federation, Adam Malkovich. Which is actually quite ironic because I named my computer Erin because it reminds me of my one true love. Don't you fucking come near me! So I just said that evil orange Samus is in the game, but she doesn't actually show up until a bit later. First, we fight the first monster in the game. Wow, so intense! The monster then leaks the snot, and it absorbs into Samus. The computer later tells us that because Samus drank the Metroid Gatorade, and because Metroids are the natural predators to the snot, which is called Parasite X, Samus can now heal herself with the snot. Also, the Parasite X can take the form of any creature in the known universe. So, that's pretty fucking terrifying if you think about it. Imagine if your girlfriend or, or boyfriend or, or your hand, if you're single, was actually sentient snot. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Metroid Fusion, like any other Metroid game, is about running, jumping, shooting, fighting interesting bosses, getting power-ups, and then running, jumping, and shooting in places that you couldn't reach before. The exploration in all the 2D Metroid games are fantastic. You're rewarded for exploring every inch of every room with a power-up to your missile or bomb arsenal. It's... Uh, it feels so good! In previous 2D Metroids... Uh, well, except 2 because I don't fucking... I've never played it. In Metroid and Super Metroid, you're rewarded with a power-up from a Chozo statue after exploration or defeating a boss. Metroid Fusion is slightly different in this aspect. Except for this one Chozo statue at the side- WHOA SHIT! Did you see that sneaky piece of imitation bullshit? Oh, I got pranked so hard. Instead of finding some power-ups through exploration, Adam the computer tells you to go to data rooms. In these rooms are download stations where you can download some of your power-ups, which are sent to you by the Galactic Federation. Which is a load of absolute bullshit. Seriously, the Galactic Federation, the people who hired Samus to secure this laboratory are sending her upgrades. They sent her on this mission at 10% of her regular orange suit powers. Why wouldn't they equip her with everything possible before sending her on this mission? They have the technology! They could have equipped her with the necessary upgrades! It's the equivalent of sending a soldier in to kill Osama Bin Laden, equipped with only a water pistol and a ham sandwich. Despite that, I think the bosses are pretty spot on. The first boss you face is Slash from the 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. After beating him, it turns out he was actually a shape-shifted space snot. After killing the space snot, you can absorb it, which gives you your other power-ups. This one being the Morph Ball. And that's really cool! It implies that the pieces of your infected suit have become these bosses. So the infected Morph Ball power-up has become Slash Monster. And that's really freaking clever. <laughs> I love all of the bosses in this game. Except for two. Spider Boss and Munted Security Robot. Firstly, Spider Boss is a fuckhead. He grabs you and pulls you up and it's super fucking annoying and then when you shoot him enough he turns into an irritating spitting head that keeps fucking screaming. But he's nowhere near as frustrating as the Munted version of the security robot. It's just bullshit. The way you fight this boss is you climb along the railing at the top of this narrow ass hallway and shoot down at its exposed brain. That sounds easy enough, but this is where it gets shit. The robot moves up and down the hallway by jumping in an arc that will always knock you down into the water that is lining the floor of the hallway, which is also electrified. So when you try to jump up, you get electrocuted and get knocked back, stopping your jump. Oh, 
And to top it all off, the fucker is constantly shooting missiles at you. I hate this robot. He's worse than the dread you feel when Barney the dinosaur keeps looking you up and down while muttering, soon. But these are the only two problems I have with this game. And really, two out of 13 super cool and interesting bosses isn't that bad. Oh, no, 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 I am not prepared for Ridley, I am not, not prepared. Oh, 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 Well, that was lucky. I don't think I'm ready to fight Ridley. He's way too, like, fierce, and he's intimidating, and he's- Watch it! Well, this isn't that difficult. Just shoot missiles in his butthole until he dies. This is my favorite Ridley design too, by the way. Even if it's just a snotty clone of the original Ridley. Speaking of awesome bosses, let's talk about evil orange Samus. Like I said, the minute we see her, we're immediately terrified. When I saw this, I was so impressed. The game explains so much with just a few actions by her. One, there's an evil version of Samus walking around. Two, she is as powerful as you were when you were orange suited. Three, if you see her, you better run because you will get your poop pushed back in. I gained that from seeing that short 10 second clip. Unfortunately, the next time we see Adam Computer, he pretty much ruins this outright by telling us, Orange Samus is the snot imitating you. It is stronger. If you see it, run. It was, it was like the game didn't think I was smart enough to realize that earlier, so I had to force that information on me. I understand that they had to let Samus know that there's a doppelganger story-wise, but it just felt like a clash of old school gaming and newer gaming, and I'm not sure that it was a feature that I liked. After seeing Evil Samus, or as she's actually known, the SAX, the game instantly becomes more terrifying. She's patrolling the ship. You know she's around, and you never know when you're going to bump into her. And when you do end up in the same room as her? For me, that was nearly as intense as playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Not the, not the stupid pig one, that game's terrible. And it only gets more intense the second time you encounter her, because she walks in the room and drops a power bomb, which blows out most of the area you're hiding in. It made my butt cheeks clench so hard, you could have put a chunk of coal up there, and then when you pull it out, you would have found a diamond. Oh, I'm not, I'm not actually going to do it. So we go up an elevator and- uh, oh, wait, wait a sec, story's happening. Uh, this is boring now. As we progress, we come into this alarming looking security room which has- OH SHIT! SECRET METROIDS! SECRET METROID LAB! SECRET METROID LAB! Are they- are they serious right now? They've had a- fuck. Three games! Explaining why having Metroids around is a bad idea. And canonically, this is the last game in the series. So, they've had f five... Yeah, five games explaining why having Metroids around is a bad idea. You stupid stupids! Well, we clearly have to put an end to this. And uh, For fuck's sake, an explosion? What now? Oh shit! Evil Samus is here and she, she, she she's attacking the Metroids! Oh well, she's getting killed by the Metroids! It's at this point that we, if we're smart like me, realize how brilliant the snot enemies are. Their natural predator is the Metroids. And this whole facility was designed to grow Metroids. And if they got out, it would mean the end of the snot. So the snot took on the form of the ultimate enemy of the Metroids, Samus. And Samus now has Metroid DNA in her, so that's why the evil Samus was so keen on killing her. Oh, bind explosion! Oh, but this part of the station is exploding, so we better hightail the fuck out of here! So we escape from this part of the lab, and it jettisons away from the rest of the station and explodes onto the planet. 
Of course, Samus is pissed off at this situation, having spent pretty much her entire professional life dealing with the Metroids, and then the Galactic Federation pulls this shit? So she brings it up with Adam Computer, and it turns out that they've been planning this shit for ages. And now they want to capture evil Samus and weaponize her, because regular Samus is too much of a loose cannon who refuses to play by the book. At this point, Samus is so salty that if you went near her, you'd get dehydrated. She's so salty that she decides she's going to activate the self-destruct and blow up the station and put an end to the snot and the Metroids, even if it means sacrificing herself for the station. But suddenly, Adam Computer pipes up and tells her she's a fucking idiot and she should crash this station into the home planet of the snot instead. Samus gets all a dither and remembers that only one guy talked to her like that. Her old commander, Adam Malkovich. That's right, the computer is actually him, even though Adam Malkovich died in other M. Whoa, plot twist. That was, that was me doing a plot twist. From now on, this is a plot twist. Oh yeah, there are also like 10 evil Samuses on the facility now, because the snot can multiply. So, all the more reason to blow this place to fuck. Thusly, we race to the navigational room to blow this station to fuck, when we're accosted by... None other than one of the evil Samuses. Holy shit, this is it. We are finally going to fight against one of the most threatening enemies Samus has ever come across. Herself. Alright, I'm bringing this one in close and personal, alright? We're connecting. Connecting, keeping eye contact, okay? What you are about to see is one of the most intense, epic, and awe-inspiring things on the internet. Now, the internet is pretty fucking big as well, so like, whoa, like, even trying to imagine, like, the grand, like, you probably can't, because, like, you're not as smart as me, but, like, because, you know, I'm like, whoa, and you're like, eh. but, you know, think about that. It's so big. It's, like, as big as, like, at least ten cars. And now imagine that. And this is going to be the most epic thing you'll ever see on that. So, tell your loved ones that you may not be home for dinner. Because this is going to be off the chizai. Why did I say chizai? Well, that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? After you beat her, she turns into a second form, which is even easier than the first. And then, when it turns into the virus to be absorbed and turn into a power-up, the bloody thing flies away! Coward. So we set the station to crash into the planet and- OH NO! We only have a couple of minutes until it happens! Best get back to our ship. Let's do it! Alright, so our ship should be here. Um, this is where we left it. However, the ship is not here. Whoa, shit! It's an Amiga Metroid! No, no, fucking Metroids! Well, looks like we're gonna have to. Shit. All of our health is gone, and she pretty much destroyed us with one fucking slap. We're pretty much fucked. Wait, wait, what is that? Look over there. Don't look at me. Evil Samus, what are you doing here? Oh, she's here to save us. Oh no, she fucked up. Wait, she's snot form. We can absorb her. Oh yeah, baby. Full power Samus! Round two, you ugly son of a bitch! Yeah! We did it! Wait, wait, why is the timer still going? Ship! Ship, hurry up! Hurry up, ship! Bullshit! Now I'm gonna do all that shit again! Oh, for 
fuck? Let's just montage through it. Come on, let's do it. and we didn't even fuck up once. Yeah! And then, as is tradition, at the end of the credits, Samus takes off her suit as a reward for getting 100%. That's just, that's just super empowering for her. That's right, I beat this game 100%. Don't let it be said that I don't beat games on this show, Austin. So that was Metroid Fusion. If you haven't played the game, I would highly recommend playing it. Ah, that's my recommendation to you. Ah, good you. I only played the game, like, I seriously only played the game a few weeks ago, and it is already one of my favorite games of all time. That's how good it is. It was also the first 2D Metroid game that I played. It's also the first 2D Metroid game that I've played, so it's highly possible that the... That I'll uh, love all... Of is also the first 2D Metroid game I played, so it might just be that the 2D Metroid formula is so good that I'll love all of the 2D Metroids. Yeah, fuck, that took ages. I guess the only way to work that out is to play the next Metroid game in the series, Metroid Zero Mission. <laughs> good grief, I hope it is Zero Mission next. I've had my breakfast. I've got my book. Oh my god, please stop singing. Ready for learning. There was no harp in that song.